It's August 15th and today is a momentous day here in Portland for our smart transportation. We're gonna take the first passenger ride of the expanded streetcar line over the Broadway Bridge. Here we go, over the Broadway Bridge. Streetcar attracts private sector investment that few other transportation investments attract. The city gets back a huge return on its investment in development, but also in transportation, of course. We anticipate moving, you know, 20,000 people a day when it's mature on the whole of the line, and that's a lot of fun. Car trips not taken, um, so it gets a lot of cars off the street, keeps them off the street, gives people an easy way to move around the center of the city. Um, I think it's going to be great for business, it's going to be great for housing. We just drove by a site where they're going to put in some 700 units of housing. It could be a very, very uh, catalytic event. People like the streetcar for a number of reasons. They, you get on at the same level as the stop itself. The cars are roomier than buses. Um, they're smaller than light rail vehicles, which means we can put them into the existing grid downtown. And it stops on average about every two to five blocks, which gets you closer to where you want to go as compared to the light rail vehicle, which stops on average about every two months. Well, as silly as it sounds, rail transit is just plain sexier than buses. And uh, studies have shown that there's significantly higher ridership on streetcar or light rail than there would be on a bus on that same route. I also like the energy efficiency aspect of it, the green aspect, and the fact that it doesn't tear, once the rails are in, the fact that it doesn't tear up the streets the way buses do. Although I love buses. TriMet has undergone a lot of changes with their fare system. Who, what, what, what gets you on the streetcar legally? Legally, a streetcar only annual pass, a streetcar single ride ticket, or any TriMet fare, any valid TriMet fare. So an annual pass, a single day ticket, an all day ticket, whatever new fare TriMet is proposing on September 1, tri streetcar will be uh, validating. Now I put in the budget more fare inspectors. So people can, uh, people need to be aware that we're gonna be inspecting fares from now on. Correct. So the free ride is over. But the new expanded ride, oh wow. A dollar, a dollar for two hours, anywhere on the system, one dollar. One dollar. This is a marvelous accomplishment, really on all scales, on a human scale, economic scale, development scale, and it really sort of sets Portland sort of as the premier city for streetcars. Portland is regarded as a mecca for streetcars because we introduced the first one in 2001 and it demonstrated what you could do for inner city redevelopment. Uh, and we have 25 to 50 cities a year that visit Portland uh, to learn what we did, uh, what happened, and uh, they're looking at how they can replicate it. This expansion will expand our system by just shy of 100%, a doubling of the streetcar system, and for the first time in probably almost 50 years, streetcar service will be back on the east side of the Willamette River here in this city.